It kind of drove me nuts um, in the beginning, but to our guys' credit, they kind of stayed with it and they figured it out. Um, and, and we knew it was going to be some issues for us uh, coming out of the beginning because of the craziness of what they do from what we thought they were going to do. New head coach, new team, and so you really don't know. You can practice what you think you are going to see. And I think our kids are just thinking too much, um, especially on the offensive side, trying really? to make the perfect check. So um, that's all it was, and we kind of calmed them down, and they started going a little bit in the second half. Yeah, we had uh, just overall communication with the offense. Uh, we're working some things out first game of the year. Uh, it, it was great to get this win under our belt. We're always happy with the win, but we got to go back next week and put in a lot more work. Absolutely. It was, it was big because, like, I've been waiting for this game the whole break, every, the whole summer. So I said, to my, I said to myself that it was going to be a big game for me, and pretty much it went the way I wanted it to. You know, offensively, we, we get to the point to where you want to make it perfect. And it can't be perfect in football because you don't know what the other side is going to do. And so you have to execute what you're taught. You have to execute what you practice in, in, in during the week. And if you just do that and not try to outthink yourself, you'll be fine. And that's what we started to do uh, in that latter part of that second quarter into the second half. Well, from the JC film, we saw that they threw to three like 90% of the time. And we were in just cover four both times, and I'm a three relater. So I just related to my three. I got some depth, and I read him, and he just threw me the ball both times. I mean, I, it's just a tendency that we saw, and, you know, a tendency that was true. I mean, the first, I, mean I don't have the best hands, but, I mean, today I looked like I had the greatest <laughs> hand. <laughs> when you talk about football, it, it is about a play here and a play there. I mean, ask K-State. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, so... It is about a play here and a play there, and, and that's why you, you can't – you don't bring an opponent in and say, oh, this is an easy victory. You can't do that nowadays because when they limited 25 scholarships a year for the FBS and 30 for us at this level, it evens it out. And so now we have players that can play at that level. They have players that can play at this level, and so it kind of evens out the pot now. And so you, you can't go into a game believing that um, just because it's a lower-level school that you're going to automatically win that game. I trust my receivers to make plays, and, you know, Dimitri here made some huge plays for us today, got the momentum on our side, and, you know, all our other receivers did as well. You know, Will had some nice plays, and, and Austin had some key first downs, and, you know, everybody played a vital role in this win.